Nacho. Yes. Blaring out with Eric Blair. How you doing, Good, sweetie? Uh, oh boy, I'm this is gonna be eat. great. I, Why don't you step I've always looked up to you. Ah, uh, but uh, I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> Now, um, how did you get connected with the Howard Fine studio? I actually sang at Diva Simply Singing probably eight years ago and met Howard there. And when I finally took the plunge and moved to L.A. about a year and a half ago, I was revisiting who I'd like to study with. And I re-found Howard, connected with him, and, and that was it. I mean, I... I did one private coaching with Howard and knew that that was the perfect marriage for me in terms of teacher. What is it about his technique that is special? You know, I just believe that teachers and students have to have a communication. You know, it's like there's an X factor that a teacher-student relationship has that you can't really put into words. I mean, I just think that Howard's very nurturing. He's very direct. Um, he just reaches me the way he communicates. I mean, I, I do think, though, that probably the key is to, that he's nurturing. The key is that he's nurturing and honest, but you always leave feeling uplifted and supported, not beaten down. Yeah, he, well, it's it's good when a director or somebody who's a teacher brings out something in you and you feel excited about it. Yeah, Howard knows how to read people really quickly, so he knows how to draw parallels between you and a character and really kind of be able to hit a nerve, tap into something, and and instantly a light bulb goes on and something changes in the performance. So um, I love studying, you know, I mean, I, I come to class every week and it's uh, it's like a never-ending process. I'll study forever, and Howard is, uh, I think Howard's the best teacher out here. Now, um, I met you years ago when Brent Jeffers was touring with you. He was your keyboard <laughs> tech. Remember Brent? Of course I do. Yeah. yeah. I met you. I, I kind of guess I kind of dated one of your backup singers, like, shortly, but... Oh, well, <laughs> hey, news to me. You are a beauty icon and also a musical icon, but you, your makeup looks amazing tonight. One of the things we talk about on the Blaring Out show is makeup must-haves, and if you could name them, it would be great. Uh, Max Spice Lip Liner. Okay, that's, that's, everybody loves that. And Universal. a little gloss over it, that's all I have on. Lip-wise. Uh, Lip-wise. Have a little mixture of two different kinds of uh, MAC bases, kind of liquidy, like dewy. I, I don't do that like really thick, stagey thing Foundation, anymore. Yeah. The older I get, the more I just want to be more natural. Less is more when you get older. When but mascara, ooh, I have a heated uh, a heated eyelash curler too, uh -huh. which I love. So for me, it's all about lips and lashes. Now tell me about this <laughs> shimmer, tell me about this shimmer blush you got going on. Oh yeah, I do. So, you know, I think that one of the blushes is actually, I think, L'Oreal and it's from a drugstore and it uh -huh. looked kind of like a, kind of like a salmon yeah. kind of color and uh, then yeah then I got some like bronzy shimmery powder and I just kind of like dab that well Beautiful. everywhere yeah. <laughs> very fantasy looking and then you're working the 2005 spring look which is you know browns and, and coppers and golds and everything so tell me about what you got on I there. love that I'm in without knowing because I never am up on what's going on in beauty I just do what I feel like doing at the time but you know I've got brown eyes and I like the uh, the coppery tones and um, you know there are times for stage where I like to go bold I like to do blues and greens yeah. and things I've been just really more into the kind of natural thing lately yeah, well, yeah you have an amazing face so thank you it's easy to make. I have some features you, you got it now but what, what <laughs> eyeshadow is that is that Mac eyeshadow that you have on you know what no it's Trish it's Trish McAvoy, McAvoy. You, yep you like her stuff I love her stuff it's her her coppery shimmery um, eyeshadow that's what I have on great now as far as acting what what's coming up for you movie wise oh my god you know what I'm actually reading a couple of scripts right now and um, my biggest news though is I just signed a new label deal nice so I am actually starting to record new material tomorrow I get what, on a plane <laughs> what is this gonna sound like what what's the new music you know the new music um, is kind of what I've always done in terms of being hooky and and you know there's a combo of pop rock and dance pop and um, you know I admire women like Cher and Tina Turner who can lend their voice to any style and pull it off and so I'm more interested in good songs yeah. you know what I mean and and to me the production style kind of evolves when you're in the studio so we're just gonna go play that's my favorite thing to do have you talked to any producers yeah actually we're, we're initially beginning um, to work on the first single and I'm actually uh, I'm actually producing because I produced a lot of my early records. I kind of know if, yeah, you if, are the girl. If there's no, there's not to me. There's not a lot of mystery to producing. It's really knowing what you want, how to communicate it to musicians. So the first single is is going to be my thing. 
school. Yeah. Yeah, you were you're like the you wanted to be like Billy Joel when you were a little I know, girl. I know, kind of odd, but here yeah. you are, you're a star. Thank you. All right, God bless you. <laughs> Thank Have a good you. night. The Blaring Out Show.